Hey, welcome to our Gathering Drum Tribe, where we do all kinds of readings here on YouTube. <laughs> Self-healing sessions, uh, pick a card readings. Alicia's having a moment of divine wisdom channeling through her and she gets on a video, okay? All kinds of cool things. Today, we're doing something I'm really excited about that I have noticed is needed and here in the YouTube planet, I've only found like one of these readings, okay? Those of you who know me well and are getting to know me here in our Gathering Drum Tribe, first off, thank you so much. We got 567 subscribers. I remember when I had like three. So thank you for all the subscribers that have been hanging on here and riding the ride with me as I discover how I bring all of my mini skill sets together. I said many skill sets. Yeah, it's kind of accurate. Uh, to deliver experiences that are a safe space for you to transform, empower, heal, and really see yourself come into a life of triumph, thriving, in purpose and on purpose. With that being said, I like to consider all of the different things that my subscribers are experiencing, okay? And we have different lifestyles. I always say here, all faiths are welcome. I always say here, we're LGBTQ plus friendly. One thing I have missed in those introductions and in my hashtags and in acknowledgement when I do love readings is those beautiful souls who are non-monogamous. Monogamous, monog monogam whatever the hell, y'all know what I'm saying. Non-monogamous, thank you. It's early in the morning, and I promise I have double bachelor degree and I passed fifth grade English. Um, I'm going to do this. And so I want to include my beautiful E and M, Polly, non-monogamous, um, and all of the beautiful colors of that rainbow of truth and the fact that we all have a right road that's right for us. And so if you fall under this category of non-monogamous, I'm just going to put it that way, okay? Because there's so many different labels these days. And just like you hear me make the joke of LGBTQIA, B, C, D, E, F, G, like there's tons of letters. There's tons of different uh, qualifying terms that are coming about and some that are getting expired. And, you know, Let's be honest, it is going to be difficult to keep up with what is most current. So please feel free in the comments to correct things, okay? Or to let me know how you qualify your relationship preference, okay? Also, feel free to email me. I want to get to know you all and how to best serve you. So some of you haven't wanted to say that, but part of you living your life in purpose, on purpose, and transforming the way in which that you speak your truth, live your truth, and honor your truth is you saying something. You speaking up and saying, yo, Alicia, you're all about it being our gathering drum, welcoming everyone and honoring everyone so there's a safe space for everyone to be who they are and be free to be who they are. I need you to include these things for me to feel that way. And I'll say, yes, like, hell yeah. Okay, show me how you'd like that to be, okay? Of course, within reason where everyone's honored and we're in a space of harmony, okay? With that being said, I think that's very important to have as an intro here today. We're going to dive in and I'm really excited. I'm using the Wisdom Keepers deck here um, for the very first card of the spread. It's also called the 64 Faces of Awakening and they're just gorgeous artwork. I wanted to show you one so you see. This is not going to be me describing you physically. This is not going to be about any of that. This is essentially going to give me a way to channel from my spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, orishas, deities, blah, 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 blah. Um, different messages for you specifically, the viewer. Okay. Also, things that may be about your personality or, you know, things that are going to be confirming for you that like, yo, yes, this is my tribe, our gathering drum. And... This is my pile, and she's actually hitting it on the ball. Okay? Beautiful. Then I'm using one of my new decks, <coughs> the 
the Modern Witch um, Tarot, I think is what it's called. And this will be to describe your partners, okay? After that, I'm using one of my favorites that I had to buy again because I actually did a giveaway and I missed it. And so I had to get a new one. Um, the Everyday Witch Tarot I'll be using for how those partners feel about you as in like what they love most about you is the best way to put that. What they love most about you. I'm going to be using a deck I'm currently working on. Those of you who know, I have like 12 decks that are original. You've seen some of them. You've purchased some of them. They're on my Etsy store. They're in my store on my website. I'll be using this new one I'm working on that is things that they would want to say and you would want to say. And then we've got the One Love Mini Vessels deck I'll be using um, to pretty much honor and celebrate the kind of love you have with each partner, okay? I think that's it. Were there any other decks I used in there? Pretty sure that was everything, okay? I have my Bix Tarot at hand here um, in case I need to clarify anything. So one of my little faves here, another new deck I got that is cute and fun to use, all right? <clears throat> you will hear me coughing a little bit. Still getting over a sinus infection, cold, whatever it was. And I am by myself today here. My son is at his center and my little guy, my fur baby, is in his crate. So we won't have interruptions, which is nice. <laughs> I love them to pieces. And sometimes it's also nice to just do something and be focused. All right, beautiful. So Without further ado, I'm gonna invite you to take a deep breath in your nose, hold it in your belly, exhale out your mouth. I'll leave a moment of silence. And during that moment of silence, I ask you to shift your focus and intentions onto your love life here as you beautiful, non-conforming, very much in your authentic self, non-monogamous person, <laughs> brave souls, and very much people after my own heart. As you shift your focus, as you set your intention, as you meditate or pray in whatever way that you do so, as I said, all faiths are welcome here in our gathering drum. And we are LGBTQ plus friendly and so many other hashtags I'm still learning to get on board with, okay? Love you so much. Let's take that breath together now. One, two, three, in the nose. Hold it in the belly for a minute. Well, not a whole minute. Exhale out the mouth as lion's breath. <sighs> Beautiful. Here's that moment of silence to pray or meditate in whatever way you do so. Let's focus on our love lives today. Thank you, Spirit, our source of divine truth and higher power for clear and concise messages today, for messages of empowerment and recognition for the beauty of each and every person watching and listening. And I thank you for this time to give them some attention after seeing that there is a scarcity on YouTube of acknowledgement of this love, this divine and sacred love that exists. Thank you for helping me to see with the eye of spirit, hear with that inner ear, sense with my heavy empath nature and know Divine truth, divine messages, divine guidance here, used as a channel and leader of this tribe. Thank you in advance. Ashe and amen. All right, so pile one here is Labradorite. Pretty fun to look at. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's how it feels. Yeah, I'm very quirky. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <coughs> Pile two. This is Snowflake Obsidian. A very interesting one, because usually there's spots all over, but this one's got this neat, like, and this is all black. And there's little spots speckled in little spots, little places. My other pieces look quite different. Pile three is a raw amethyst crystal. So which one is speaking to you saying, pick me, pick me. That's the one for you. Okay. Find a timestamp. I also want to let you know, in each pile is the relationships, the connections, and the partners associated with them, okay? So it is one pile that's probably going to speak to you. Unless, I mean, hey, I'm not going to put anybody in a box. Unless somebody's got a whole bunch of different situations in a system. It's up to you how you want to pick. I'm just letting you know that each one does have the whole story in it, okay? with you as the viewer. I will call the central person the viewer, okay? Um, the only reason I'm saying central person is it will literally be in the center of the spread. And the viewer I'm suspecting is the person I'm talking to about the partners. You may find, however, that you are not the viewer in the story, that you are someone that's one of the partners and this is still telling the whole story. Okay, and you can send it to that partner. <clears throat> Ready, set, go. Hello there, pile one who picked the labradorite. Let's get into your read. Okay, I'm gonna set that there. And right away, I'm gonna tell you that this pile was very interesting to me, the way that it came up. Because uh, I did pick these cards yesterday. I pulled them all yesterday, last night. I put them in their stacks, their piles, and then I went to sleep. And I wanted to have fresh perspective and be able to remember the things in time that needed to be remembered. Why am I saying all of that? Because I feel like this pile, what's interesting about it is that it took some time to get here. It took some time to get to this functioning as best as it can, because some of you are like, well, right now there's some stuff going on. Functioning state. It's as if this could have started with an idea and then people either had to open up to it in the partnership or the one person who truly wanted this type of lifestyle had to really take some time to figure it out. Okay, and maybe really break down some belief system barriers that they had, okay? You will hear me say they for every single person, like I said, to honor LGBTQ plus folks that are here in the mix as well and not knowing what the gender of each person is. I just like leaving that open so everybody feels like, yeah, I could fit in the they right now better than being called he the whole time or she, okay? <coughs> Here we go. Not attachment. Woo! So can I just say, I love you, pile one person, like genuinely. I love the work you have done on yourself to reach this place of maturity in your life. Not attachment's very tricky to accomplish because not attachment is not the same thing as unattached. Let's talk about it for a minute. Non-attachment is, I refuse to control outcomes. I refuse to control the narrative. I refuse to be attached to how things turn out and put all of my own personal agenda on things and impose my beliefs on people because I'm attached or triggered by or um, feeling insecure within the guidelines of an outcome. This is like big personal power here. So legit, like celebrate all kinds of different ways we celebrate on camera. You are in such a freaking awesome place. I'm trying to be careful of how many F-bombs are dropped in these videos. 
Listen, you are someone who is celebrated by the world, by relationships around you, even when you may not see it, and by your spirit team, whatever you call that, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, the universe, divine, spirit, so many words, creator, okay? <clears throat> Please let me know in the description box, or I'm sorry, in the comment section, what you call your higher power. Many of you who do personal readings with me know, that's the first question I ask. And then we speak through your language. So I'd love to hear from a lot of the subscribers I haven't heard from on the channel, what you call your higher power. And I'm gonna start like tallying stuff up to see like, oh wow, so many of you call it this or that, okay? This person though, this spirit, this energy, you here in power one would be like, I don't really care. I'm not attached to the term. I'm not attached to the systematic um, beliefs of my, my people, of the society that I'm in, right? On a smaller scale and this world that tries to govern it. This person's non-attached, okay? 42 may mean something to you as that's the number of this card. Six could also mean something. Could be a life path number. You could be um, <coughs> an Aries. You could be um, someone who likes to dismantle and deconstruct certain ways of living. A very much, like I said, nonconformist. Um, I'm thinking here, like I said, Aries, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, um, even Libra. Okay, Aries, Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra, maybe somewhere in your major placements of your birth chart. Some of you go, like, I'm not any of those. Check out your moon sign, check out your rising, or just check out the type of energy that is very prevalent in your chart. It could be that a lot of your placements are in a certain house, okay? Let's keep going now, ready? I'm gonna keep you over here for just a second because I wanna make this essential focus for a minute. This is the vision they gave me when I was trying to understand what does this person's poly e and m life look like in terms of romance and essentially it was as if there are three partners whether they're all in a connection together because to me that'd be a triangle here or there's one person that kind of ties two other people together okay but there's like a perhaps a triad there could be three egalitarian type relationships. There could even be um, this person over here could be who we're talking about, non-attached, right? Who is sometimes involved with a triad or is sometimes involved with three other people who are also poly or are in a throuple or, you know, there's so many ways that this could go. But you see here who you are here and let me know <clears throat> in the comments. The last way I'll describe that I saw it was that there's one person here who very much desired, you heard me saying in the past tense, remember I said it took some time here, very much desired the autonomous, very much solo, um, labeled or known as single in the heteronormative Mon how do you say oh y'all gotta teach me some terms heteronormative is like this whole very much exclusive way of saying people should be heterosexual right what do you call it when it's the same thing but it's about people who are monogamous someone teach me that word because i know it exists in this day and time day and age um what i'm trying to say is this person wanted to get away from all that crap in their own life while still respecting that other people may have it for them and have their own type of agreement and arrangement where both people that they may have some type of very deep, committed, solid, right, connection with, respect that they're both in this person's life and also understand the shit this person's been through because this feels like it could be an ex that they still have to deal with, the parent of a child, um, an ex-spouse where 
something is shared, you know, alimony could be involved. Um, like I said before, child support <clears throat> could also be, I just heard even like a, a parent who's very codependent or aging or, you know, not doing so well and very dependent on this person. There's something, there's so many different ways this goes. Tell me which one resonates with you. Okay. Now we can really get into what's going on here. So I'm going to put this at the top here. This is what we're talking about. <coughs> and then we're going to kind of boop, 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 put the people here. All right. First person, the Empress. Ooh. So there's someone here who really, really... Uh, okay, let me slow down because we're going to talk about what they love about you, viewer. But there's one partner here who's a perfect match. And it's because they themselves know who they are. The Empress is not about to get up and chase anyone. It's not going to... The Empress is anything but someone who has to prove themselves, okay? The Empress quality knows who is deserving of their of the person's energy, where to invest, how to cultivate a very lush life. And I, I want to say luxurious. It's luxurious based off of whatever that means to the person, okay? This person also is very nurturing to others without codependence. This is someone who nurtures people to be their best selves and to be very much independent thinkers, behaving in a way that is autonomous in their own life while also being interdependent in connections. This is a great match, a non-attached type person and an empress. Heck yes. Okay, we're going to dig deeper into each partner. Another partner here, Page of Pentacles, maybe a little bit younger or a little bit more youthful than the Empress is, plays a little bit more, okay? This Page of Pentacles is someone who I'm hearing right now, okay, in this specific reading how we're doing this, my guys are saying, look at the pentacle that this person is holding. They like to give gifts in this relationship. They like to pamper the person. They like to take care and pay attention to this viewer, non-attachment, you, um, in very practical ways because they know the importance of people feeling that their value is seen and acknowledged and honored. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip one second. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Other thing I wanna say here about these two, this person would never compare them. This non-attachment, you viewer, I'm just going to keep saying this person. I don't know who you are in it. This person would never compare these two. They're completely different. Even the two of them respect how different they are. We could also put into uh, play here, this person may have children, be a mom already, or have been a mom at some point. This person may have yet to be a mom. Okay, this person may be pregnant. You get what I'm saying? There's so many details here. I don't want to get stuck in the tarot. I really want to stay focused on the story. Okay. Third person, nine of cups. I want to put them here. I don't like having people be like down there. Okay, so let's set that there. That feels better. Okay, some of y'all said put it down there. All right, I'll listen to you. I shall listen. Wonderful. It's wonderful. It's marvelous. This person's very much breakfast at Tiffany's, a day in the park, Roman Holiday, Audrey Hepburn, musicals, um, meet me in St. Louis, lovey, romantic. Um, very much the romantic emotional connection for the non-attachment person. And if we really looked at it in that sort of way, again, I'm being careful of the labels and I am yet to be well-versed in ENM and polyamorous type relationships, terminology and the life in the world, the tribe. However, I want to be taught, so teach me, okay? 
Um, teach me your ways. Everybody's ways are different, right? Teach me yours. This person, though, to me is like swooned. There's a swooning between these. This is, again, like Sam Cooke and Nat King Cole croon, crooner type jams and darling you send me oh, you you okay you get it they're very different connections let's move on and i'm actually put this boop, boop, like that for myself all right so back to first person what this empress loves about the non-attachment viewer or person we're talking about six of wands i'm sorry Oh, it is Six of Wands. I was going to say Six of Pentacles. I love that the Six of Wands in this deck kind of mimics the Six of Pentacles, though. See how this person is giving stuff out sparingly, but also being celebrated for giving things out? This Empress partner loves that this non-attachment viewer, I'll just say viewer, that the viewer here is so... responsive to the people that they consider their family, their tribe, the ones they would do anything for. The Empress loves that this person takes care of their own. The Empress loves that this person is so It's like they're sacrificial and they're seen as sacrificial and seen as serving their loved ones while also doing it with like, with style. I'm also getting that like, when this person screws up or when there's a disagreement between these two, I, okay, I'm gonna throw an F-bomb warning. They fuck up with style. You know, it's like, ooh, when you mess up, at least you make it look good because you 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 respond to your mess up and you you bring flowers, you bring candies, you do a gesture, you call and sing to them. You, you know, like, it's with style. And it also honors that this viewer, you know that this person is the empress that they are. So you're going to treat them as such, okay? I do want to also say this may be the longest lasting connection out of the three or potentially four, okay? This Nine of Cups person, what does the Nine of Cups person love about you, viewer? Interesting that you somehow find a way to ease their worries, to break down their walls, to have them feel safe with you. We got Eight of Swords here, okay? The Eight of Swords is notoriously known as being the card of self-imposed imprisonment, self-inflicted pain, right? She can easily get out of those restraints on her arms and the blindfold's not even tight and she's, around, she's surrounded by swords. Like, she can cut herself loose. However, the swords represent all of the thoughts, okay? All the little birdies. There it is. It's backwards to me, okay? And so I do want to say non-attachment person loves about this person, this partner, like, it's funny to say, but their limbs, like their arms, their legs, like, I feel like this person's got legs for days or they've got, I don't know, like they're very... Could even be a dancer or something. And like, gone extensions, yes. You know, like, there's something about that. It could also be that the uh, the lengths they go to to really romance each other here, you two. Um, this, I feel like the person I'm talking to, the viewer here, is definitely ENM. Like, ethically non-monogamous, don't believe in it, never have. Um... And that's part of that whole not attachment thing. And so it really means something to each partner that they're still able to give of themselves and have a certain part of them um, expressed, activated, um, 
brought out and uh, nurtured with each partner, okay? With this partner, again, this partner really loves about my viewer that they're able to help them calm their mind. Again, by like teaching them, by instructing them in ways to do so, okay? Getting them to synchronize <laughs> their parts of their being in their life and make their thoughts serve them instead of feeling like they're controlled by their thoughts. Okay, like I said, swoon, 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 swoon. All right, <clears throat> partner three, page of pentacles, home skillet. Three of cups. Oh, I almost just broke down in tears, like literally touching the energy of this card. And my heart is just, whoo, okay. So listen, I meant to do it this way. This partner loves the arrangement and loves I think here we get with this whole thing that, oh, I just recognized we got three partners, duh, and it's this person. Yeah, got it now. But I feel like this partner loves, the, loves them, like loves the union. This is so intriguing to me too. It's fascinating that it's as if we've got Wow, with some of you, you know what they just said to me? With some of you, this is... <clears throat> like a guide in the three. Wow. That's pretty deep. Like it is a three-person arrangement. Whether it's, you know, relationship or not. A lot of times I get frustrated when I'm studying, researching, and learning about polyamorous people. And the only thing you find sometimes in search engines or whatever, in stories that are told, are triads and throuples. And it's like, okay, listen, polyamorous and polygamous are different. Anyways, I feel as if in this regard, this person just really loves yeah, I'm going to keep saying about this person. I don't know. Y'all know the story. I'm not going to try to figure it out because I'm talking to different folks. But this person really loves the unity, the harmony, the um, the way that this viewer celebrates people, the way that this person brings people together, the way that this person honors, accepts, radically accepts folks and knows that everything's connected, okay? Let's see what each person will say. I'm gonna have to follow. I'm gonna use my non-dominant hand here. Where each one goes. Okay, this is this person. This person will say, oh, so much to do, so much to say. Ba -ba 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 hey now, you're an all-star. Okay, there's so much, to, there's so much I wanna say to you. There's so much to say about what you do for the world and who you are. Um, <clears throat> I definitely feel like the way I'm reading this for some of you is legit. This person's non-attached, but is still somehow part of this whole thing. Um, there's so much to say for what you do for the world. Like you give and you deserve to be given back to. And I'm so proud of who you are. I'm so proud of who you strive to be and continually develop yourself, your brand, your vibe into like, if the, I feel like this person would use the word God, like God bless you. God bless you for being you. Okay. Okay. We have an unspoken thing. Beautiful. Woo, I like that for this one, big time. There's some sense of this person perhaps, like I said, has been around the longest in this person's life. And an empress 
in the empress nature is, is not a jealous person. They don't struggle with that. And I feel like this person would say, we have an unspoken thing. Like, I would never have to be concerned about anything happening in a threatening way to our connection because we have an unspoken thing. There's, it's just, there's so much, there's so much water under the bridge. There's so much we, yeah, and by that I mean like so much we've overcome. There's so much we have made as memories. There's so many times we could have dipped completely on each other's lives, <clears throat> but yet we're still here. We have an unspoken thing, okay? Yep, let's speak openly. So there could be something going on. I said that before. I don't know if you guys heard that. And that's the thought. The only person here is struggling with some thoughts, I think, is this person. Let's speak openly. I feel like um, there's a big heart space here with this person. Okay. There's there's definitely something going on. I mean, she does have her arms crossed too. So it could very much be like, say how you feel. This person very much right now may need to say how they feel may need to learn how to speak up when they're feeling a certain way. And that's part of them emotionally maturing in their life in general, you know? And of course, it's going to come in to this, okay? Now, what this partner would say to all of the partners right now, I'm going to um, adapt it to each person. So bear with me as I channel. All right, look at that. Go and get your love guides that cracks me up what did i say y'all <laughs> for some of you this is a connection sort of okay they all know each other there's respected connections oh that's what it is that's what it is that's what it is that's what it is all three have connections perhaps with the other so like one two three however there's a non-attachment between the three and there's this it's almost like there's this fourth entity this fourth presence and it's spiritual that like keeps the three together and it's what guides the connection very very interesting i love it I hope this is in some way helps. I do want to do the last little bit here and get a card on what each love is. Only you guys know how to read this now that it came out in a few different narratives. <coughs> Could be that, you know, for some of you, you're looking for a fourth. And you're trusting on your guides to help you find it. <clears throat> and who I'm talking about is the kind of person you, you all seek. Remember, only, only take in and let hit home the parts that truly do. You'll know there's a visceral reaction or spiritual sensation that happens when it's meant for you. Trust your own divine spirit within to tell you. Okay. Yeah, they won't let me put another one out. All right. So, welcome in new love. It makes it new again. Remember I said that bringing people together, this could be the newest connection. <clears throat> this also is a connection perhaps that's, remember I said very youthful. Like it, it, makes everything always feel celebratory, new again, fresh. Um, childlike, playful. We've got revealing love. It's exposing your truth. I feel like that is a love that exists between these two people, if these are two people, but over here in this energy I'm picking up on because it's very much like it cracks both people open in ways emotionally that perhaps they've never been cracked open in. 
and it exposes that those true, true, true feelings of the inner, the inner being, the um, deep, deep truths and secrets of the person. You know, it cracks that open and loves on it and heals. It's revealing. And then, yeah, we knew this. Grounded love over here. It's your love surveillance. This would even, I feel like the Empress would be the one to be like, I don't know, I don't know if you found, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, like this, this is lots of Empress, goddess type quality over here. And it's very grounded love that makes sure that you stay true to who you are and you're on track. And... It, it's always like coming back down to earth and to the responsibility to yourself. Okay. Woo, gosh, I hope this helps somebody. Please comment below and let me know. This was me going out on a limb to try. And I just mean because I have never had to speak in this way. And so I really hope that I've honored and done you some justice and some good. And like I said, I'm willing to learn, so help a sister out. And thank you for being here as part of my tribe. Thank you for being a visitor, perhaps, and watching this as the very first reading. Go check out some of the other pick -a cards and other videos I've put up. Come on, Patreon. That's where you get regular posted content that's really, really powerful and a lot of fun. Got some people over there already and we're having a good time. And it's very cool to have that exchange of currency back and forth um, regularly because it's it's blessed all of us. We've all had some really cool surprises happen in the last few weeks as a result of being connected on Patreon. So come check that out. Hope to see you there. Wherever I do see you, I'm excited to see you again and connect with you in spirit. And until I do, spread love and share joy every day in your own unique way. Goodbye for now, Pile One. Hey there, pile two. I want to kind of clear some energy here. Um, it was fun reading pile one. This is really cool. This is also going to be a learning moment for me. So I am doing this quite humbly, knowing that this is my first time having to speak in this way. And I'm always game and extremely enthusiastic about doing something new um, and adapting to continue to help serve my folks here in the tribe. I love you all and I really want you to feel loved and accepted. Um, so this is yet another way. I'm sure there'll be other videos coming here soon that um, are my guide's ways of saying, hey, now here's how we want you to reach these different people based off of this different thing, okay? That's what I'm all about. So I'm lighting this um, so Palo Santo to help even clear my own, my mind so I can read this. Um, with fresh perspective again. All right. Woo! Inhaled quite a bit of that smoke just then. All right. Here we go. Hope you watched the intro because there was a really beautiful um, description of why I'm doing this at the beginning. Very vulnerable. Here's what's going on type moment. And then kind of a rundown of um, what I'm going to do here in the pile. So <clears throat> let's dig in. I'm going to put this here where you can still see it. And let's look at the viewer or let's look at the person that's sitting at the center of this connection. Totality. Oh, Ooh, I just got chills. Look at the beauty of this artistry too. So what I can say about this arrangement and this viewer is that, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. This person knows that everything they need is within them. I'm using they to honor all my LGBTQ plus folks here in the ENM, non monogamous, poly, whatever different term you use, lifestyle. Um, and so that I don't have to get stuck on he, she, all the doggone time. Okay. But yeah, this person knows who they are. This person has completed so many major, major, major lessons in their life. They've been through the ringer in order to find that totality 
within them, connected to Mama Gaia, Mother Earth, to Grandfather Sky, to all of the different ways that they are connected in spirit with people here. Like this is a fucking awesome person. And in pile one, we had something happen that was kind of interesting. Um, there was an overall connection guiding force for some that were watching us, how it played out. And then there were three that were, you know, combined energies with that force they were combined, right? But they all were also autonomous and each connection was its own. Here, I feel like Totality is also a big guiding force in these partnerships with this person. It's all about whole people coming together. It's about holistic approaches to being in connection, mind, body, and spirit being necessary connections. So this person, I believe, needs to be mentally stimulated, emotionally stimulated, spiritually stimulated sexually stimulated okay mind body and spirit it's the three i just feel the three here i know we're not seeing a three but i'm feeling it that completion okay 28 may mean something to you or 10 could also be um february 8th it could be um that 10 is your life path number <clears throat> okay and I do see, I know this is not a three, but y'all, it's it's hiding there. <laughs> it's hiding there in that symbol. Okay. Um, I also believe this person understands that you take the good and the bad and that there really is no bad. There's light and dark. There's light and shadow. There's day and night. There's um, the angels and demons. Like they're all real and that it's all part of the being. Sorry, I took a sip. Many of you have been hearing me quote Dr. Strange in the last a couple weeks here on some readings about how the ancient one, I think it's mainly been on Patreon when I'm quoting it, um, that the ancient one in Dr. Strange says during some training we never get rid of our demons. We merely learn to live above them. And I think that's so true. I think we need to stop um, reinforcing this idea that it's all light. It's all butterflies, rainbows, bubblegum, cotton candy. And that that's all we receive and accept of humanity and of ourselves, more importantly. Because the universe is within us. That's another part of this totality. And that this person really believes in these things. So I wonder why they have me saying all this. Maybe because you, the, you're the viewer and you are this person in the connection. And they want you to know that this is a safe tribe for you to be a part of. And that you will be stimulated with me as well. Because we haven't even started talking about your connections yet. However, know that I really admire, love, and respect, and honor all of the, the beauty that you see and contribute to the world at large and in your connections and that your romantic choice of preference in the way that you do love <laughs> is absolutely beautiful. So thank you for being you. Okay. This is the next thing I wanna kind of focus on here. And this is the visual I saw when I was pulling cards here. I wanted to understand each pile so I could at least confirm um, and recognize and acknowledge the connection. <coughs> Excuse me. So this connection feels like, ooh, and this is pile three. I did these out of order. It's okay. Um, this connection feels like one person who has two different relationships and these two are not connected. Okay, there's no romantic connection between these two. It's one person, boop, looks like a satellite. 
Um, <laughs> reminds me of satellite learning, remote learning. I'm sorry, teacher. Um, what person has a very tight, strong bond here and a tight, strong bond here? Some people here, some, if this is not you, then just go, let it go, you know, roll off your back. Some people here are bisexual. <coughs> some people here are in same-sex connections on both sides. Some people here are pansexual, and this isn't even about gender, right? This is just, I've got a connection here, i got a connection here, and they're both equally beautiful. And it's not that they have a certain reason, they just, they both have meaning. I only wanted two connections. And it does feel like these are two closed connections, okay? But for some of you, they will be open, and that's okay. All right? Wonderful. So put that there. And put that there. And now we're going to look at these two peeps. I wonder if I should keep this in the pile. This is pile three, but I did it second. I wonder if I should just keep it there and put a... Hold on. Like, edit it? I don't really feel like editing it, but maybe I will. We'll see how long it is. Okay, whatever. Pile three. This is pile three, but it's happening second. All right. Page of Cups. Ooh, she's hot. <laughs> That's what I just heard. Ooh, she's hot. Obviously, I'm not talking about the cartoon, you guys. Um, there's something about one of your partners, viewer, so whoever you are here, you know, go back and listen to the intro. I, just, I explained it. Something about this person. <coughs> that really gives you butterflies, makes you giddy, opens, um, <laughs> I just heard like opens your sinuses, that's funny, you know, it's like, uh, my sinuses, that's why I'm not crying, it's my sinuses, like this person makes you emotional in a good way, they make you cry happy tears. Um, there's some sense of relief in this person being in your life. And I feel like <laughs> they give you good love. Come on, um, Whitney Houston. You give good love to me, baby. So good. Um, just look at this face here. Like there's, there's such a need for harmony and peace and just very, very warm connections. And this one is very warm and soothing in that emotional space. This person also may be a bit more, a bit more in the yin energy than this person, just a bit more, not a lot, but uh, brings out the yin, okay? <clears throat> and then we got this, ooh, this high priestess energy, yes. You're gonna hear me say that kind of stuff like, ooh, and yeah, mm, oh, about all kinds of stuff. I mean, you can thank my Venus and Gemini placement. I love differences. I just love variety in the world. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. So we got, this other person's very, very different. I see why like these two wouldn't, you know, they're not gonna be involved. They both love this person. And I mean, like I said, these are long-term connections. They both love this person and then love and respect each other because they love the love that this person has with each of them. It's beautiful, it's really cool. Um, I would feel like this is the nucleus, if that makes sense, right? Um, and each of these people are okay being the other person. Does that make sense? Because this is not a monogamous type thing. This is, it's, okay, y'all gotta teach me how to say this stuff. I hope you get what I'm trying to put out there, okay? I'm trying to channel in, my language may be failing, failing me at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so this person is much more yang, okay? 
than this person is. Because this person's very much balanced yin and yang. Okay, even looking at the black tower and the white tower here with, um, it simply has a B and a J on it. I forgot what it means. But it's what the high priestess is all about, being able to see light and darkness, being able to see beyond the veil, being able to see the secrets. And a lot of times in our life, that's something you do by, you know, research on Google. And it's like, no, no, no. She is the Google of the spirit world. <laughs> so like, really cool. Okay. I also feel like there's lots of feisty type energy on this connection. And this is very soothing. Remember, totality. They, they, they like both. And it could be because this person is both. Okay. To give you just another example here <clears throat> of how I feel this. I'm a fire sun sign and a water moon. And they're very different. However, I have learned to marry them. And they really bless each other, if that makes sense. Okay, those energies that I have, it's beautiful when they're together because I become like a hot tub, you know, or a steam room. Um, and it's really cool. I feel like each of those parts of this person, whatever you believe those are, are getting what they need in these two different connections. And so it doesn't have to always be keeping things as a steam room or hot tub. Sometimes this person can go hot. Sometimes this person can go smooth and um, not cool because water is not necessarily cold like air, right? But like, you know what I mean? All right, let's go on. I don't know why they got me kind of chilling, but yeah, these are both very even paced, even tempered, harmonious connections, okay? Which one is which here? Yeah, Hierophant here. Okay, so yeah, this person may be a little bit younger or... Not as, how do I put it? Spiritually, the totality partner is a bit more mature, advanced, developed than the Page of Cups partner. And in a sense, there's a, what this Page of Cups person loves about the viewer is how they're both teachable and they teach them. <clears throat> okay. They're also very loyal. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like this person loves that this viewer partner is loyal to both people and that they answer to a higher power. So they conduct themselves in that way to be respectful, loyal. Um, I'm hearing fidel, like fideli, which is faithful. However, I'm hearing it faithful to their creator. Like, this person loves their spirituality, their devotion to their higher power and how that impacts their connections. Um, and when you have that kind of connection with your higher power, your creator, it shows. It shows in your earthly connections. It just, it shows. And that's what they love about them. One thing, of course. Ooh, see, this is a powerhouse over here. Um... Not that the other people aren't, but it just, of course, the focus today is on the person whose energy is here. And I believe this person's part of my tribe. This is a viewer. So, like, this high priestess loves the manifesting power of this person. Loves that they say something and it happens. Loves that they are also someone who co-creates with their partners. Like, these two may have power of agreement. And this miracle, magical bond that they could say something together and speak it and believe it. And then it happens. And I think that the beauty of these two, because the high priest is just like the Hierophant energy and magician and this totality is honors the higher power. They, they have a cause and a divine mission that is to serve humanity and be a light worker, a healer, a shaman of some sort, right? This person's very intuitive as well. So they can, without even being involved in this connection, know what's going on over here. And I believe that these two would even, if there was something happening in this connection or with this person, they'd bless them, they'd speak it in it, you know? And it's just so cool because this person gets to be evolved and more and more evolved spiritually. I will say, I feel like this person is the most emotionally mature 
perhaps out of all of them. There's some kind of beautiful like balance here in the maturity. I feel like if something happened here in this connection, this person will be able to help with their energy. The same way I said on the other. It's just really cool. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> what each person would say. Okay. Govern only yourself. Look at that. There's some wisdom over here. There's some serious wisdom over here. Why is this person coming to my door? Hold on. I hope they're just dropping something off. Yep. Let me go see what it is. Govern only yourself. What does that mean for you? Why would they say that? I think it was in my mailbox and I don't feel like going out to my mailbox right now. I think it has something to do with, um, yeah, you both have clients or yeah, you both get to talk about teaching folks or being in your power. However, when you come over here, <laughs> govern yourself. Come over here trying to teach me and tell me stuff. I got me, I got me, you know, <clears throat> which is funny because that sounds feisty. But it is meant to go over there. All right. Interesting. They're pulling this over here. Hold on a second. Okay. This person would say same team, same ball. That's very interesting. Same team, same ball, not same goal, same ball. Hmm. Why do they have this come all over here? Oh, they wanted it to go last. Okay. This person's dedicated to both connections. The pragma is the there's seven words for the for for love in Greek. Pragma is the one that talks about love that is <coughs> long, long, long lasting, long term, loyalty, dedication. The way I remember is I give myself that cue that's a trick for me. That's like, oh, it's almost like logic. Like it just, it makes sense over time that you love that person because you've been doing it for so long. And so this person would say, I love you to both people and mean it completely wholeheartedly and is dedicated to both connections. This is interesting. I want to clarify the same team, same ball and what that means. So I'm going to use my cute little fix tarot to do so. <coughs> And here I will shuffle on screen so you can see. Don't know why people need to see that, but it's all right. I will do it. And I'll even cut. All right. So. Same team, same ball. What does this mean? Two of swords. Give me two more cards. Emperor. Okay, I'm seeing this. That's why she's over here, or this person. They are over here saying, govern only yourself. Queen of Cups. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Page of Wands on the bottom. I feel like this whole same team, same ball, what they would say to you, this high priestess would say right now, viewer, is... We both got it going on. We both are perhaps entrepreneurs or bosses or very, very bossy even leaders. And like, like this person said, govern yourself, you know, like um, type A personalities, uh, alphas, all that kind of stuff. And we have feelings at the same time, right? And so like, Remember when we see things differently or remember when we're in a biased state or we're unable to see the situation objectively. 
because we're in both shaman guide coach mode and relationship mode at the same time. If anything, remember that we're on the same team. Okay. Dealing with the same ball. You know how when you're on a um, basketball team, there's only one ball that's in the game. You know, any of those sports, soccer, football, basketball, tennis, <coughs> not golf. <laughs> there's only one ball, right? It's like we're on the same team and instead of focusing on the same goal, let's focus on both of our hands are on the ball here. So we don't want to destroy the ball because we won't even hit the goal. Woo, that's good. Come on, guys. Better speak and show me. We doing this with style today. Maybe that's why this card was out. Style. Okay. Silly. <clears throat> All right. So the last thing I'm going to pull here for this is out of my One Love Many Vessels deck to see what kind of love each of these are, is. Each of these is. Yes, what kind of love each of these is. Come on, Grandma. Well, that was easy. Spread love. It's fanning your flame. Oh, yay. Some of you know that my second album and my motto, and I say it at the end of every video, is spread love, share joy. <clears throat> the spread love part of that is in everything that you do, remember that you are here for interconnectivity. You have a divine purpose where you're able to magnify the divine light within you. And even in that purpose, it's about interconnectivity. It's about being connected to other people. And I feel like this kind of love helps this person, viewer, if this is you, the totality person, to stay connected to people, to stay connected to the hearts of others, to remember that you are a person and you have needs. And when you are able to remember your sense of humanity within you and accept your flaws, see the beautiful balance here? Over here, it's like we're healing and, and changing and fixing and developing the flaws. Here it's like, accept them. This is radical acceptance over here where this love that these two share on this side is governed by each of them. It's very faithful, loyal, dedicated, devoted, and divinely gifted. <clears throat> and it fans the flame for each of them. You know, it's that cool breeze. Oh, well, the rest of it was water. It's not a breeze. It's, it's water. But you know what I mean? It's that warm bath. It's when all this work is done with this person to change the world in that totality nature, almost like an earth angel, star seed, light worker, then here's where the nice warm bath happens to, you know, do the yoga, to ease the body. And remember that the energetic, spiritual, mental, emotional body are all connected to the physical body that keeps it all grounded here. And without that body, it's not grounded here. So I think this person, like again, very, very wise and a very different type of mission. However, all three of these people are big time light workers. Okay. <clears throat> There's a legacy being born by them all being connected. It's really cool. Over here, let's look at this type of love. Two different types, but it's the same divine love. Tough love. I knew it. Remember I said it's feisty over here? Tough love. It's making you face the consequences. You see how they're very different vibes, but very much needed? 27 may mean something over here. We got 28. This person could have come first, by the way. Okay in the person's life, I'm trying to say, may have shown up first. Um, two, one, 27, 28, five, six, page. Okay, yeah. Um, I also feel like this was very much like a past life connection. <coughs> you know, two, two ancient type souls, let's just put it that way, two very old souls. 
And this is like, now listen, this lifetime, we're not going to do this again. You know, we're not going to have this battle. There's lots of big time changing things here. I'm going to put this here because it's for both people. Um, changing things. You know, using everything that each of them have to make a difference in both their connection and in the world. Like this is big dynamic duo power couple type stuff. Whereas this is like, now let's be that beautiful, loving connection at home. It's really cool. I love it. All right. Hope this helped in some way. Please let me know in the comments how you identify when it comes to E and M, poly, non-monogamous, um, whatever it is that you call it. Did I say monogamist? Non-monogamous. Um, whatever. I want to hear from you all and I want to learn more about my tribe, okay? So let me know so I know how to serve you best and what language to use. Let me know how this resonated and you know what ways it did resonate because of course there's certain pieces that were for you. And then come check me out on Patreon. We've got quite a cool group building over there and it's really, really sweet because we've got that currency exchange going and so the energy is on point and we've had some awesome breakthroughs and surprises happen in our life for those that are involved as a result of being on Patreon in that group, okay? Thank you to everyone who's a subscriber here. Like, comment, share. I'll see you soon, hopefully in my store or on Patreon in some regard. Until I do see you again, remember to spread love and share joy every day in your own unique way. And goodbye for now. Hey, pile three. Not really pile three though, this is pile two. I did them backwards and I apologize. It's what I reached for and I wasn't paying attention. So I have hopefully edited it so that you were able to find the right pile. It's just one of those moments and it's all right because I'm human, except in my flaws. Flaws are beautiful and perfect. That might be part of the connection here, okay? I'm just gonna clear real quick so I can read this with fresh perspective, knowing that it is different than pile one and pile two. I mean, pile one and pile three. Blah! You know what I feel also? This always happens for a reason, right? I'm feeling an energy right now. And the fact that I'm feeling it while I'm doing your pile and that my guides love, I'm very kinesthetic. So they love to just have stuff happen and teach me things about what I'm working on at the moment, right? Um, in other words, sometimes they send messages through having something happen kinesthetically for me. Pile two, I feel like you are, in certain ways, what people would think is out of order. You know, like, you do whatever the hell you want to do, and no one's going to tell you how to do it, in what order to do it, um, why you should or shouldn't believe something. Um, I also feel like you're very much like, I don't know how to explain it. You do stuff for the principle of it sometimes, like... Honey, did you really have to do that? Yeah, because they needed to learn that, you know, like it's that kind of thing. And I think like sometimes you hold that back from yourself and it's like, no, that's part of who you are. That's part, that's part of what the world needs from you is for you to be that person who's radical, who even if they try to label you as a rebel, like you're only a rebel to them because they're staying where they're at. <clears throat> so like heck yeah be you my name's alicia uh, and i'm free to be me from my head to my feet that's right i'm free to be me your name is say your name say and i'm free to be me from my head to my feet i'm free to be me <laughs> it's one of my chants don't you go trying to say it's yours all right <clears throat> I use that with kids and arts education and stuff. <clears throat> so, Snowflake Obsidian here. Look at you. Look at you. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Resolve. This reminds me of James Brown. Probably because of the energy I'm in and what they want me to see. Anyways, <laughs> step on the good foot. Hot pants. Um... 
Yeah. You're going to do what you're going to do. You're very, very much moving with resolute decisions, right? You are, you have resolve within yourself. No one needs to tell you who you are or how to live your life. Um, I'm going to be real for a minute. Where I currently stand on doing research on many, many things of variety in life right now. The people who are changing the norms are very ancient beings. They're old souls who have been through enough stuff in lifetimes to be able to say no to something and choose something else, to be able to overcome rejection, um, people's opinions, misogyny, sexism, racism, whatever, enough so, of course, we don't always overcome it, right? But what I'm trying to say is they're able to overcome it momentarily enough to speak whatever truth of their life into the universe and impact it, make change. You gotta have gone through a whole lot of stuff and endured and persevered and survived in order to approach things like that in that way. In one lifetime sometimes, it's hard to imagine somebody for the first time, right? In their soul makeup, dealing with certain things and then standing confidently in it all within what, like a hundred years at the most? Yeah. Okay. So you feel like someone who has done this before. Whatever that this is in your life, you're that kind of person. You've done this before. And this time you're meant to take it to a whole nother level. I love it. You're established. Show sexy self. Go on now. All right. This is um, what I drew for each pile as <laughs> representation of what I saw in my head when I asked them, show me their arrangement. Show me their love life partnership. <clears throat> and you know what I got with y'all? Sparklers. That's not what I was drawing. But after I drew it and I started meditating on the pile, I was like, oh, it's sparklers. Like, you two have a solid connection. You and this other partner have a solid connection. And then you respect each other enough and you know your connection is resolved enough that like, do what you're going to do. Be you. I feel like you both let each other know what you're about to do. However, no one demanded that the other person do that. You just do it because you trust each other. There's a certain level of respect, trust, and um, consideration that goes into this connection where you're both poly and there's already a very, very, very secure relationship between you that is very much established and solid. Let's go on. I want to look at y'all. Look at this. I want to look because I love people living their truth. Now, why we got three cards? All right now, somebody bringing somebody new in the picture. Hey, hey, let's see it. Okay, but it's someone new that's not quite in yet. Interesting, because we only have two things that need to be said here. <clears throat> All right, here we go, let's take a look. Justice. Wow. I just said, did I not pass life, um, you both had past lives or you both had enough experience in lifetimes where you know how to do stuff. I keep hearing, get on the good foot. Get on the good, good on the good foot. Interesting. You're trying to get on the good foot with each other right now or do you feel like something perhaps is needed? Ooh, this one feels like almost a therapy session, but not therapy because there's problems. More so like y'all want your guides or creator or the universe to show you things you don't see. And that's all right, we can do it. All right, 10 of wands, okay, okay. Oh, and there's three here. Okay, give me one second to read this because this is very different than the other two. The star, okay, one second. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm feeling some sense of these two cards go together. There's something about the connection that you and this primary or anchor partner, and if that doesn't resonate, don't get mad at me. Just type, eh, we call it this, and that's just fine. <clears throat> um, you have this beautiful, liberating love between the two of you that activates so many parts of who you both are. In fact, you may say that it activates too many parts of who you both are. Because like sparklers, I feel like at times, you both feel kind of tapped out. And I feel like some of the weight of the connection that you have, you'd like to share with someone else where they also feel like they're able to get some of the beautiful love that you two have. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because that's how it's coming through for me right now. Yeah, it's like they want me to do this. So you two are looking for someone to be in this with you. We had a couple different stories today. And one of the arrangements was there were multiple connections, but not all people were engaged with each other. I feel like in this case, you do want it. I also feel like you are such big energies. You're not looking for someone <coughs> to come be in like a thruple triad. You're in this and we're all equally involved type thing. It's almost like you want someone who's just as, um, just as healed, perhaps? Just as resolved, just as secure. There it is. Just as secure as you two are. Because you wouldn't want them to feel, there we go. You wouldn't want them to feel the burden of being added in. You would want them to be their own person and be able to be their own person in this with you all. It's like you want them to be in love with you all. As in they're in love with love and life and their creator and their mission and whatever in the universe. And then you all are both individually in love with it and you all can be in that love together. Okay, I do feel like someone's looking here though, that there hasn't quite been something that fits yet. <coughs> Um, they won't let me move it. Okay, let me see this. Okay, so whoever this resolve partner is, if this is you, viewer, you love. You just love connecting and building and collaboration and teamwork and the sense of unity that exists when everything is synchronistic in synergy is the word I want to say. Like when it's synergized, you just love that. You know, it's something that's so beautiful to you. And I think that's part of why Why are they singing the Three's Company song in my head right now? Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. B -b -d -b -d -b. Is that it? Is that how it goes? Um, I feel like perhaps someone in this connection feels as if, like I said earlier, I'm going to say it in a different way because it's coming out now in a different way. <clears throat> when there's two very, very strong personalities... Two people's not enough. And someone may not even say that out loud. But legit, it's too much on two people. Because when you make one person responsible for carrying the weight 
of being the one other person keeping that relationship sustained. And you know that you've got a lot to bring to the table and that you've got a very, I'm feeling fire signs. Can I just say that? I'm feeling like Aries, Leo, and Sag all across the board here. Unless someone else has Aries, Leo, Sag vibes, like they don't get it if there's heavy fire in the charts here. And that might not be true, but that's the way they're helping me explain this. And it's very, 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 very ironic to me that like the 10 of wands won't, they won't let me move this card. They're like, put it right there. Cause it's as if these two people have so many chords connected. Like we're friends, we're lovers. We are business partner people. We have a shared purpose. We have the same community. We are in the same field. We live in the same house. Like there's all of these chords and it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Can we like loosen one of these and give it to, have it come out to someone else who wants that thing as well? Okay, let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles, they want over here. Okay. <coughs> Y'all breaking all the rules and I'm loving it. Seven of Pentacles. You're even breaking my rules for the reading and I'm loving it. it makes me feel like, yo, where does the self-care come in? Where does the time to ourselves come in? We need more time to ourselves while also being able to cultivate and nurture the love in this home or in this connection. What are some ways in which we can get time to ourselves? I do want to also say to you all, you need to explain this. You may need to look for this partner together and literally be upfront and say it this way. And whoever understands it is a good fit. Okay. There's one more card and it goes here. Okay. <clears throat> Someone may be a little bit more passionate than the other about something, whether that is the sexuality of the connection, the romance of the connection, the activism and uh, political activism, the divine purpose of the connection, the house things that need to happen. It's almost like you want someone else to come in and you're scared of it coming across as being like, we need a maid. That's not what you mean. Because it's not about the physical responsibility. It's about the connection. It's about the intangible things. And the right person, let me explain it to you. The right person comes in and says, yo, I'm looking for A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And I would rather avoid having to deal with H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P. And you're like, oh shit. Yo, we have together between us, H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-P. And we're looking for A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And you're like, shit, yes. Could we like have a meeting and interview and talk about it? You know, and it's like, yes, right? There's this new desire to create something that exists in each of you in this partnership and exist in the partnership. However, it's like, it's yet another thing that y'all gotta keep going. And it's like, yo, we're tired. <clears throat> and you don't wanna feel that way. You wanna keep this. You wanna keep this in the beautiful, balanced, harmonious, beautiful, I keep saying beautiful because it is. Um, it flows. And it's almost like before you two lose one of those chords, you want, you're wanting to bring in that other energy to help with it, okay? What you would say to one another right now, stay by me positively. That's this person. Oops, that's off screen. There you go. <clears throat> and the other person is saying, I, f I feel for you. 
I think I love you. I'm going to clarify. I only clarified on one other pile and it was a different thing that I clarified. First off, I know what to do. I'm going to clarify with my One Love Mini Vessels deck. Okay. Oh, I'm starting to get it. That fell on one side, not in the middle. One person sees the love as one thing and the other person sees the love as something else. And what each of you don't see it as is what you're desiring. So this person over here, welcome in new love. This is the person who wants something that makes it new again, keeps it fresh, keeps the hope alive. I'm getting it. Cultivates that sense of hope, healing. Um, oh, what is the word? Serendipity, kismet, the, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Sweet, pure love, it never leaves. And then what's this? Parallel love. It's mirroring your truth. <clears throat> all right, all right, I get it. Let me say this. Someone can come into this connection and be so amazed and turned on, activated, passionate about this kind of love that you have going on, this sweet, pure love that never leaves. And they'll be able to parallel that love in them. I know this is going to sound kind of nuts, but let me explain something. Some of you in this pile may want to study monadic twin flame. That's all I'm going to say. M-O-N-A-D-I-C, twin flame. Okay. And some of you know that the word monad is like, it's all in one. Right? It comes from mono, mono. Okay. And one person in this connection, be it this person, this person, or the person who can come in and parallel, <coughs> is very much androgynous in energy and maybe even con um, consider themselves like two spirit. Like they've got both energies within themselves and they're complete in those energies and it's who they are and so it's like what may be needed here is I feel like it's this person who's that I feel like what's needed here is another energy that parallels this this bond and what does parallel mean it mirrors What's there? What does a mirror do? It reflects the opposite projection. So say, for example, there's a very feminine type energy here. I didn't say female, whatever gender it is. There's a very feminine energy here. And then say there's like a, a very masculine energy here. Then this energy that comes in is both. Say that this is very feminine and this is both. Then the energy that comes in maybe a bit more masculine. And what it does is it bounces off of this person what they need to bounce off. It bounces off of this person, perhaps, perhaps this person's very much a, a mutable, adaptable, got like Pisces, Gemini, um, Virgo or Sagittarius energy in their chart and heavy placement. And they can like adapt to what's needed with this person in the moment. And then it gives that beautiful like, whew, right? Because right now I feel like there is some kind of polarizing energy that's needed. All right. That's, I get it with the justice and it's in a wand. Something needs to balance off, balance off in a very harmonious healing way that <clears throat> strong, 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 strong tie between these two sparklers. <laughs> 
I hope this is making sense. I am going to clarify every card one more time. Um, just because I love you all. Yep. So two of cups is the connection. Wheel of Fortune. It's a very beautiful, blessed, serendipitous, divine union. Okay. <clears throat> and in the most way, it's emotionally that way. It's established. It's secure. It's got a firm foundation for building on it, right? And they're wanting someone else to build. That someone else is someone who is a queen of pentacles, knows who they are, what they have to give and ready to bring it. Knight of Wands, someone wants to be able to feel like they can walk away from it and still have it be loved on, okay? Want some sense of freedom here. Um, and some kind of change of mind on what it looks like to have this still be done the right way. Judgment. Um, the decision, I think, is being made by this person over here who's really the one who perhaps tends to it all a lot. <coughs> Maybe the more earthy, more grounded person in the connection has this idea. Oh my gosh. Hey, I know you're going to stay by me because we're established. We're connected. We got this. It's stable. It's solid. Let's welcome in some new love to make this all new again. And to also bring something that perhaps I'm tired of bringing into this. Empress. This is the person. You may want to watch pile, I don't think it was three, I think it was one, just to see how that connection works. And then if anybody commented in the comments about pile one, talk to them. Because guess what? You guys could do this any way that you'd like to do it as long as you're both on board and it's consensual and it considers all that you've built and it doesn't threaten what you've built, right? I'm not talking jealousy. I'm talking it doesn't threaten this beautiful, solid foundation. <coughs> okay? Come see us on Patreon. We have some really cool things going on over there. I really appreciate those who are contributing in that currency exchange. Those of us who are part of Patreon have really gotten some beautiful breakthroughs and even like surprises in our life that were seen in those vibes and in those videos. So come check it out. Also, please like this video if you want me to do more e and m Polly love readings as pick a cards. Or if you want me to do them going through the signs or whatever, let me know how to serve you best. I wanna to get to know you all. I hope you watch the intro to this to um, understand why I did this reading today and why it was so important to me. If not, go back, rewind and watch that intro. And I will see you soon. Whenever I do see you soon, I hope to see you smiling and loving and accepting yourself, honoring yourself wholeheartedly. Until I see you again, spread love and share joy every day in your own unique way. Goodbye for now.